Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. The general conversation we were having was about Bhairav. Right. Um, the more general conversation we were having was about Tantra and the rise of deities. In yes. the last episode, we compared the earthly realm to a playground. We said that every human is a child on the playground. Mm. Certain children, like Rajashri Nandi, know more than the other children and are able to give them chits, which teach them about the deities, which are the highest beings which are also present in the same playground. In the last conversation, we spoke about slightly lower beings and slightly higher beings and how they can also incarnate within this playground. Right. But we didn't speak enough about the deities. Right. Uh, my question to you is simple. We spoke about how post the pandemic, there's been a rise of Bhairav energy. Yes. All over India. Absolutely. Uh, I remember we also spoke about how it's been dormant for a very long time in yes. modern Indian history. Mm. Bhairav worship has reduced in our country. Mm. And at the end of the day, the deities are so powerful that they themselves decide when they'll come to the forefront and interact with human life and affect human life. Yes. And all of us feel a rise in Bhairav energy in the world generally. Uh, I will let you begin this conversation wherever you like. Uh, do you want to begin in 2020, 2021? Or would you actually like to begin at the point where Bhairav decided to be dormant for some time in human culture? So, uh, you are right about that. I also specifically feel that there has been many centuries where the energy of Bhairava, uh, Bhagwan Bhairava has been more on the sidelines. Okay. So, his according to the Sampradaya Upasanas that used to happen, so Bhairava was not the Mula Devata. He was always the Shetrapala or somebody or the guardian at the outside, things like that. And a lot of the worship happened in villages and rural settings where you will find just a stamba of Bhairava and some local practices which may or may not have a support from the scriptures, somebody doing it, <coughs> etc. Now, uh, there is definitely an upsurge in the consciousness of people and the energy of the play that Bhairava wants to do here. It's like he is more keen to interact. Let's put it this way. What does that mean, more keen to interact? More keen to interact means that his... Uh, when a deity is more keen, you will see that suddenly a lot of people are worshipping that deity. Suddenly there are many things happening due to worship of that deity, etc. Suddenly there is everybody speaking about deity. Okay. That means that these things do not govern. If you are a spiritual minded individual, these things are not orchestrated by any individual A, B, C, no. Others, people can be a nimitta, which means that an instrument of the deity but the deity decides when, how, where, in what format, in what condition he wants an awakening of his consciousness among people. And that definitely has happened with respect to Bhagavan Bhairav. And um, what I have seen specifically, <coughs> when I first came for this podcast, I've mentioned that before also. So I was I was not sure, in fact, uh, ki whether I should come or not, etc. And I had a clear intuitive guidance that I have to appear and then I checked and saw that ki, uh, the first date that was asked, was told to me, was Bhairav Jayanti. And I took that as a positive sign and I came along. I had no clue what to speak of, nothing, no idea, no preparation as always. Uh, and then I just gave the interview, went back. I had no expectation what is going to happen out of this, no. What actually happened, I mean various things happened, but the key thing for me what happened after that. So before that also, I used to do Bhairav Upasana. I used to conduct retreats and guide a small group of people uh, into different sadhanas, um, Bhairav sadhana primarily, along with other Devi sadhanas. So we used to collectively do certain practices on the Ashtami Tithis. Ashtami is a Tithi that is very important for Bhairav Baba. It was on an Ashtami in Krishna Baksha that Bhairava avatar manifested in this universe in his, to show his play. Mm. So we used to collectively sit down, do Japa, Sip Lom Bhairavaya Nama Japa, Offered some uh, prasad bhog to Bhairava. And at the end of it, uh, keep it outside the house so that some animal or something can consume it. Okay, That's the simplest process. Nothing complicated. Just one diya and one mala. And you do few malas of the Bhairav Mantra. On Ashtami Dithis. Every Ashtami. <coughs> we started, when we started it was just a few thousand 
counts, uh, not even thousand. I mean, it's very less amount of people, very less counts that was happening. In a span of one year, from that till last Krishna Baksha Ashtavi, the amount of people who organically gathered together to do Bhairava Japa, close to 51 lakh Japa of Bhairav Nama Mantra happened on one Ashtami, last Ashtami. This kind of exponential progression in one year is humanly not possible. I know one, two individuals who, who thought that, oh, this is so interesting, this is too easily doable, is kya hai? so they also tried to propagate the names of few deities whom they like. Nothing wrong in that. So they try to ask people and go. And they have some kind of, uh, uh, you know, little level of influence. What happened is it didn't take off. They tried for months and months and months. I mean, at the end of the day, they could convince 10 people, 15 people, 20 people, wo bhi do chhod diya, etc, etc. Because the date is will is not there. Until the date is will is there, you can try as much as you want. It is not going to happen. This thing that happened is entirely organic. I had not foreseen this. I'll be lying if I tell you that, oh, I knew that this is going to happen. No, I was doing what was organically coming to me. I was guiding my set of people. And then the thought came uh, that no, this Ashtami Tithi Sadhana must be done at a larger scale. Whoever wants of his or her free will to join, let him join. There's no compulsion in these things. So we opened eventually a telegram group. Anybody can join that group. Instructions are posted there. People post their photos also. Ki, Aaj humne ye sadhana kiya baba ka, etc. Photo of Bhairav Baba, Bhog, how many malas they have done. And uh, eventually, eventually, getting 51 lakhs of Bhairava Japa on Ashtami Tithis. Along with that, then we started doing various kind of sevas on Ashtami in the name of Bhairava. Like there are multiple Veda Patshalas where we do Annadanam. So we feed the Brahmacharis and the people who are learning the Vedas on Ashtami. Uh, before doing that, we take a Sankalpa. Sankalpa is basically... Um, promise? Ha, the promise that we are doing it for the sake of Bhairava so that there is an upsurge of Dharma. It's not for an individual. It's not for me, you or anybody. So that Dharma increases in the world. What does that mean? So we want an upsurge of Dharma to happen. Dharma is spiritual righteousness to very to put it down in a very simple format and also that which helps sustain and that which if it rises it also ensures that everybody is in a more positive orientation and development in the world my focus is india at the moment I don't know about the world much and I'm. it doesn't play much role in my head. I am concerned about India and I feel and I know for a fact that we are at the edge of a particular time when an upsurge of Hindu dharma will happen. So when I say dharma, I specifically includes also the worship of these deities. And not just Bhairava by the way. All other deities, various practices, etc. Once these happen, it will also uplift the lives of people. It will protect the nation because somehow or the other, this is the root culture here. And it has always been there. That's a reality that cannot be denied. Now, my point is, um, apart from the Annadanams that we do in various places, there are pujas that happen in Kal Bhairav uh, Temple in Kashi, pujas that happen in the Vatuk Bhairav Temple in Kashi, pujas that happen in the Mahakal Ujjain Temple, there are Rudravi Shekams that happen of Shiva, there are uh, Brahmin Bhojans are done specifically. Sab ke liye sankalp is the same, that this is specifically done so that there is an awakening of Dharma that happens. And I feel entirely if Bhairav Baba wills it, ye this 51 lakhs japa that is happening, this should eventually go up to crores, not just one crore. Ek time ana chahiye when a country with a population of over 1 billion should have, a time should come when on the Ashtami Tithis there should be at least 7 to 8 crores of japa. How far away from that? I don't know. That's his will. I I don't, I'm not judging ki we have to do it now, tomorrow, day after, no. I want to create something that will be so strong that will last for centuries. It is not dependent on human beings. It's not dependent on me. So it it need not depend on Rajashinandi. It should. It's a process, a system that has to be set in place so that it goes on. And to create something that big, you cannot hurry. Take slow, slow steps, and dire 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 with the blessings of the deities, it will happen. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.